Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode of the Yin Yang build. We're going to be getting as much of the design as possible done today. We have quite a bit to do. What I want to do is I finally hit tier two. I'm at 41 pop. We're going to try to get this to about 98 people and we're just going to focus on creating as much wood and lumber as possible. Now what we'll need to do, of course, is get the trader up and a couple of other things to facilitate this massive endeavor. A lot of this is just going to be the difficulty in getting the design because it is a circle base. It's not as easy as just slapping down wall. We'll need to count everything out, but it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. That is for sure. Let's build a couple more houses and then we'll look at our wood situation. Healer hut's gonna go right here, so I'll just remove that house that I was using as a placeholder. Total of six houses in this row. There we go. And like I said, you don't even need to upgrade the market to hit all the houses in this design, but I mean, we will. I think maybe the one house right here, maybe, but it, that one actually might fit. Got lots of deer coming straight to us still. Getting the clay pit up. Doing pretty good. And then we also need a lot of boards and stone to get to tier two housing. Lots, yeah, lots and lots to do here. Um, let us start harvesting all the stone in our area now. Looks like we got a good amount of it already selected. The plains is a little difficult to get stone. That's why we will need the trade post. I will be moving a lot of this stuff around, as I mentioned earlier. But right now I'm just trying to get it down and get everything going. So, trading post. I'm gonna put the trading post right here for now. Keep it near our defensive structure. It will be raided. Um, in the festival pole, I think we're going go with this right here. But I'll put that down when we actually have the money. So, yeah, let's just focus on getting wood and money right now. So we're gonna want a couple trade items. The main trade item that I'm gonna be using early game is baskets. Uh, baskets, and hmm, we do need a second thing. I'll have to think about that. So let us look at our design. We're going to need to get a compost yard up. Pretty much stat. Okay. And I believe compost going right under here in the design. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's put it right there for now. Compost yard going so that we don't have waste build up. Boot this up to times three. All right, we got so many deer coming to eat these crops. It's kind of funny. Might have to build another hunter over here. And our wood cutting expedition is not yielding great, greatly yet. Um, I'm gonna get another work camp. But I'm gonna put the work camp, I think right here. I'm gonna put the work camp right about here. And then I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna build a road down here. Um, and I'm gonna build... We're gonna start trying to make as much money as we can because we really need to up our lumber game. I'm gonna plant a massive forest. Um, but we'll, we'll do that at a later stage. But our main objective right now is just as much wood as possible to build out the design of this base and um, trade items. We can sell wood. So. Boards are the one drawback to the planes map is, gosh, dang it. Freaking, freaking Yogi Bear over here trying to kill everybody again. God. Luckily I got multiple hunters. Okay, I think we can actually kill the bear. There we go, got him. And we got some meat out of it. Yay, te <laughs> Yay, team. Killing the bears. All right. Everyone's doing a pretty good job. Mostly just a resource game at this point. The, uh, the early game is a, a tad bit uneventful. And a lot of early game strategy is covered in my prior guides and builds. We do have a bit of gold, but I would like to get these houses upgraded so that they generate more taxes before I start spending my gold. Basically spending money to make money. Put the festival pole right here. Once the festival pole is up, then we can start looking at other means. Um, we're going to start selling pelts. We have uh, more pelts 
we're just going to start selling everything we can to, to get to. We get to a place where we just have all the resources that we need. Alright, cool. We got it so that they're not eating too much of our crops anymore, the deer. So, everyone is doing their part. By keeping the hunters right here, once they walk out their door, they'll kill anything. So, we can actually send them to further points away and still have them uh, patrolling this area. Alright, and I'm just going to put them in the same area. And I'm going to have them cut down every tree as well. We're just going to really ramp up our tree cutting. And we already got some waste accumulating, but we got our first compost yard. And... Nice. Everything's uh doing really well. We got a lot of food. We should start seeing a lot of people coming in here soon. We need a school. Definitely need to start building it up because education will improve. Uh, education will improve worker efficiency as well. Looks like a clothing and shoes, but we can get into that stuff later. Need another 150 gold, but yeah, let's focus on getting the basic desirability items up. Alright, and then we have shrine in this design. The third house, one over, right there. Everything's perfect. And then we have a small garden in the design. We're just gonna focus on... Yeah, it's going to take us a lot of gold, but we're just going to focus on getting our desirability up first. And then a rat catcher. And then another house right there. Oop, traveling merchant. Yes, and he's buying baskets 17. All right, we're just going to throw all of our gold back into the economy and try to build up all this stuff as fast as possible. I'm going to prioritize the school. Of course, they brought the gold to the... Oh, man. The AI in this game pisses me off sometimes. Um, harvest resource. Just, just have them harvest. We're playing on an easier difficulty map, so there's not as many bears as prior games, so I feel a little bit more confident. People won't die if I send them far out, but I do know there's some wolves lurking, I think, in the distance there. Need to be a little mindful if we see people dying. Three reconvene on what we're doing. Well, we can buy shoes at 8, but I'm just trying to sell stuff right now. Alright, I'm going to boot up to uh, two wagons since we are getting a little bit more ambitious with our work camps and bust down builders to four. We just need people now. So, I'm going to slow boat. Oh, what? Never mind. Got a big old influx of population. Six people. Not bad. And look at that. We're getting full. Right. We, um, ha so far one root seller has been able to do it, so. Nice. We got the small park up. And I got a lot of these. And we just need stone in the shrine, so we might as well just do that. We're doing pretty good, actually. It's a lot easier when you don't play this game on the hardest difficulty. Um... Yeah, we're doing pretty damn well. And we can already start to plot out defenses. So we know that there's a wall right here, right here, and right here, and there. And we know from this point the wall goes one, two, three, four, five, down the well, six. And then we know it comes in all the way over here from one point, and then it cuts down right here to the gate. So we'll get the beginning stages of the defense out. Now will be it. We'll just kind of like slowly build it out. That way we're not going through all our wood. It's gonna circle around all this stuff. It looks pretty cool actually. I like this. We're gonna put a little, we have this whole little area back here that I can do whatever I want with. And we'll probably, um, I'll actually probably move the rat catcher from here 
to back here since it doesn't hit houses because I can put something where that rat catcher is that will hit these houses and give more desirability. That would make the most sense. Hide the rat catcher in the corner. All right, we're doing pretty good. Two people gathering clay seems seems like a good idea for now. Um, need a little bit of clay coming in, and we're, our wood is now really starting to pull. pull in. There's like a hundred coming in per month between all of them. Doing good. I think we're going to need a lot more boards. So I'm going to boot this up to four people. But yeah, I'm liking this so far. So our first objective is to wall in the residential area, the main residential area, maybe put down a couple of towers to protect it. And I think that will be a really good first objective right now. Our um, industry is kind of, you know, I got to do what I said I was going to do. Our industry is going to be remodeled several times. Right now I'm just trying to make it sufficient enough that, that bandits can't come in here and steal my stuff. Alright. We just need a little bit more gold and we're in business with the school. And we're getting... Some of these buildings are actually going to be able to be upgraded. Easy. We already got one that's upgrading. Oh, we got several that are upgrading. Cool. There we go. What's great about the new tier system, too, is you actually get a benefit from upgrading houses. And uh, every tier now has a population increase. There used to be no population increase on tier 2. It used to just be four people. Alright. The deer are eating very few of my crops right now. This is great. Got my hunters killing. Very good. Now, we want to make sure, because we have our guys selected to cut down any tree, that right here is where I'm going to plant a farm once I get some money. A uh, tree farm. And we should be getting a higher tax off these new upgraded houses. That's why I'm trying to get upgraded houses. Increase my tax revenue. But definitely need more wood. Best way to do that is just to have a bunch of laborers and I just cut down a bunch of saplings because I'm a jerk. Um, but that's the way, the way it is. I don't really have anywhere I can pull from. Everything's kind of critical right now. So yeah, we just need to... I have four people to... Okay. We're going to cut back on boards so that we can have two more people out there cutting wood. But this is why you want to get a small population. And you don't want to build too much industry. I built just enough industry that I can generate some kind of money. Um, but I want most of my people available to be just carpet cleaning the stone and trees uh, to throw back into production. But eventually we will want to generate a good income. Wood is one of the better incomes. So a really good return on investment. You just, I mean, one... One oak tree yields, I think, seven. I think it's actually nine now. Nine wood. And each of those sell for five gold. So it's like five, five gold to plant a tree that, you know, yields 40, 45 gold. It's pretty good. It's a good return. And it's only it takes a couple of people to operate a work camp. It's just a ridiculously good return on investment. I think a lot of people don't like to sell wood because you need so much of it. But, uh... If you slow your roll, you can easily sell wood. Right now I'm doing rapid expansion, so it's harder for me to blow. But if I yeah, if I were to slow down, I I could definitely definitely do it. Um and then it pokes out here. And there's road systems here, and then there's gonna be a barracks hidden right here. Yep, making good progress. <laughs> you can see the deer spawns are like getting closer and closer, trying to get to the farm. I'm also going to build a temporary shelter right about here 
so that these buildings don't have to come all the way back to get food and such. And I'm going to build a well. Um, build it right here. Alright, look at that. Mainly just wood holding us back, but all these houses are going to be upgraded and bring in a lot of money. Got the school up. And we got a bear over here. I'm going to take my two hunters, and I'm going to intercept this bear, which is definitely trying to poke its way into my town right now. <laughs> the guy just took off. That's funny. There we go. Bear down. We need more builders. Um, there's just a lot of buildings to be upgraded. Alright, we got the crater coming in. What do we have to sell this guy, though? He has got more baskets I can move in. He's got nothing that I can sell him. Might need to start manufacturing clothing or something. But I don't really have the population for it yet. Just have to be patient and let people slowly come in. We have a really good happiness and we got lots of food, so... Eventually we'll get a better setup. I think I'm gonna switch one of the years out to turnips because we're getting bean diseases and such. Alright, got our well coming up. Now, now people have water. Yep, got everything they need. This one's yielding 90, this one's yielding 92. That's really good. So yeah, we got a really good wood intake now. And we'll just, um, we'll just continue to carpet clean this area, basically. tower over here. Up this to three people now. We're going to build decorations to the point that we can get all these buildings at the point they can upgrade. So right here, we'll do two. I always like to be 1% more than I need. Um, and over here, we'll just do the whole dang thing. How did I mess that up? There we go. That should get these guys up to 30, and then all these can get up to tier 2 housing. Nice, look at that. Buying all our pelts, 540 gold. What does he have? that I need. I don't need anything from this guy. Not currently. I mean, some of these items I'll need eventually, but right now I just want to throw all this gold in my city. I'd buy, st I'd buy stone and stuff like that. That's about all I'd buy right now. Oh my god, we got a huge immigration wave coming in. I like how they all dress like cult members. Freaking, kind of freaky. That's a massive immigration. 14. Get to work. That's great. That's a lot of laborers. Right, we're going to boot our workers up to 10 people now. I'm just going to have them go out there and just cut down every tree they can see now. That's a ton of laborers. I'll even have you go over there. 
Just keep an eye on the top left. Make sure that we don't see any uh, untoward animals come in here. All right, so let's start with uh, the real deal now. We need to be forward thinking. And I build a new school. I already built you one school. All right, we need to be forward thinking here. We are eventually going to burn down all this wood. There's actually quite a bit of wood, but um, for efficiency's sake, we're gonna want to create a farm. So I'm gonna do oak, and I'm just gonna go down the line here, and I'm just gonna plant a massive farm. This is gonna cost me a lot of money initially, but it's going to yield insane amounts of wood. And in the long run, will more than pay for itself. We'll start with that for now. That's a lot of gold, but uh, we got it. Boot up the builders to get it all built. I'm gonna move this, uh, cause it's in my way. I think I'm gonna move it right here for now. Keep it all centralized and defensive, cause we have plenty of space that we can build um, storehouses out between this two, these two areas, so it's not going to impede my design, but I want to get it out of the way so we can uh, finish off the design over there. We'll prioritize that, get that out of the way, get this, get the, <laughs> I know, I, I got to get my roads right so I stop wearing down my shoes, so it's another reason why I'm kind of eager to get it done. Alright, cool. They're gonna move that freaking huge building. Let's get every builder on it. We're doing pretty good. Uh, stone is the only issue. But there's lots of little stone. What we need to do is find that big 1200 stone. I'm going to send a couple scouts. Looking for the big stone. I, I should have made a note of that when I... Let's just do a couple. I always get ahead of myself and send someone into wolves. Crap, got predators attacking? Um, it's a boar, so that's fine. Bit of wood over here. There's a lot of deer eating crops, but dang, look at look at the easy killing over here. Alright, cool. Um, so let's look at our design. We have the statue here. We have a gate here. This goes in two tiles. Oh, that's... Alright, we're gonna have to destroy this road. It won't let me do two tiles. Ugh. I don't like having little nubs. So, alright. We want it to come in right here, and then it's going to come down and across. That. There we go. Or did I go? No, I went way too far. Gate right here. It's going to come in right here. That one's going to go there, and that row will come there. There we go. Now we got it. Rat road. We'll have that road there. Rat road. Man. I apologize. The words are hard sometimes. And then we'll put... The barracks there. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then the wall piece here. Gate. Wall piece here. Wall piece all the way like that. And then we have gates. We're definitely gonna get this barracks up because it looks cool. No, because we we just want to get things rolling. Gotta have some kind of some kind of defense here, right? And then the walls go up each direction. Um, walls come down. Two tiles here, and then they come down. Um, count this out actually a 
come down six tiles from here. One, two, three, four, six. And they come down one, two, three. We'll just stop right there for now. Well, that's cool. Now we can, now we know where the wagon goes. The wagon goes actually right here. We'll move the wagon over. We're going to put a vault right here. The trade post is actually going to go somewhere around here. We could start kind of slowly moving things into position, which means there's a road. Yeah, there's a road right here, which kind of intersects these roads right here. don't know how far left the road goes though so let's hold off on that and then we'll build our com first commerce section right here dang we need a lot of gold for these barracks I'm gonna get it up though it's a very good defensive unit early game also allows us to like coordinate attacks so I have I'd rather have a couple of soldiers up here that I can tell them where to go. Almost got our first forest done. Just need to keep uh, making sure we're cutting down all the trees we possibly can. Does look like our farming could use a little help. I'm gonna boot this out to a six or a twelve by twelve. I'm going to redo the road here. I think a cleaner way to do this road is to connect these two points. And then connect this point. There we go. Now I got a full road system. That looks a lot better. Look a little janky the way I had it. Alright, we're making good progress. So I think it's a, a good time to uh, start working on the top part of this wall. Let me get my design out. All right. All the way up. Two over. One. Two, three. One, two, three. Two. One, two. Looks like we do t two sets like this nine times. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's pause. Let's just make sure that all looks right real quick. So there should be a wall piece in the corner of this house. There is. And the last one should line up right here. And it does. It lines up with the statue. Last two were. Perfect. So we did it. We got nine of those. Let's let them build that part first. There we go. Barracks. We're going to put one person in there. I'm going to sell a little bit of wood. We got a lot of wood coming in. We'll, we'll be okay. I just need the gold. And I'm just relying on the heal root and stuff I have for my medicine, though it would be somewhat wise. I don't have gold available. Yeah, that's why we need gold. Gotcha. Alright, we got multiple travelers. One's offering me five gold, the other's offering me five gold. But we got baskets. And we got you. Alright, so that's 500 gold. Throwing it all back in the town. Oh, he has cheap stone. Not a bad 
idea to sell wood for stone. Great. Great thing to do. Let's, I can buy 12, but whatever. Buy as much stone as we can. I know it's small amounts, but it all adds up. Right, we're under attack. Alright, I got way wrapped up in the game. And let's get our hunters over here. Nice, we got one dude. He's not going to let that guy get away. They, they tried to steal a little bit of gold. Oh, oh, look at that. Defense is held. Killed all of the raiders and they got nothing. Bro, bro move right there. Eight raiders for 74 people is really low. I'm like used to like 30, 40 at that kind of population. This worker's sick, so I'm gonna fire him, rehire him. I, you can't have your smoker not working. All right, let's get a dude in the barracks. We got three people sick right now, but it's not. Let's make sure it's not a real disease. Typhoid, incapacitated, festering wounds. Those aren't uh, big, big deals to me. And look at that. Oh, our oak trees are all mature at nine. Very good. Um. Okay. So let's continue to build out our massive tree farm here. And then once it's all mature, I'm going to have them cut down the old oak trees to plant. Me. Once this bad boy is mature, oh man. That's a lot right there. I think that's more than enough. Yeah, we're just going to leave it at that for now. And we're going to get back to business. All right. So then once once you get the one two one twos, you got threes. One, two, three. You got three threes. So this is a three one of the threes. This is one of the threes. This is one of the threes. I said three threes, right? Yep. Yeah. And then you got a four a four. One, two, three, four. So we got four there. And then we have a and that's the top. Let's pause the game just in case I'm wrong and I have to go back through here. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right? And this 15th piece should line up with um, right here. We'll just build it. If we're wrong, we can we can change it. What we should be looking at is where it diverges. So the divergence piece lines up with the corner of the school. So let's look at the design. And it does. Lines up at the corner of the school. So we know it's right. Perfect. That's what you gotta do. Just use points. Like, change points and just make sure that they line up with other points in the design. So you can see here the change point. Um, lines up with the far right corner of the school right here. Boom. Oh, very good. Isn't that pretty? There's our little circle. This base is gonna, like, this base looks like when you first start it, it feels big, but this base isn't that big. It's gonna be like this, then it's gonna curve here, then it's gonna circle here, and then it's gonna circle down here. So it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to see the whole base within one, one screenshot, hopefully. And it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, let's get the bottom part now. Pause the game. All right, so I made a mistake, and I had to go back. I actually accidentally did four down when I should have done three down. This is why it's really important to get these things right. Let's start from the first lip down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. A three, a three, and then another three down, and then seven twos down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three across, four times. And then a four across. And then 15. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then another four across. One, two, three, four. And then a three across. One, two, three, 
a three across, another three across, and another three across, and seven twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're doing the whole design because it's just piece piece doing it isn't gonna work. Then a three, three up, so three, 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 seven up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the road goes through here. Perfect. Let's just get this bottom half up first. Pretty sure that all of this stuff aligns now. And in the design, we have a well right here. So I'm just going to get that place holder down. Yeah, not bad. Looking really cool. Got our well down here now. So if anything catches on fire, we have immediate access. We got our farm up. And let's just make sure these guys are... Yep, they're good. We're doing pretty awesome. Our people are unhappy, though. I think it's because our food's, food reserves are going down. Um, I'm going to get ahead of this. We're going to do a whole 12 by 12. And I'm going to move the hunter cabins to right in front of the two farms here. And I'm also going to build another hunter cabin. Just going to pump up our food supply here. But this is a way, so instead of building fences at the end of your farms, build a hunter cabin. Then the, he just pokes his head outside his hut, shoots the deer, walks in, cuts it up, comes back out, shoots the deer. So the deer just keep coming towards your farms. Kinda cool. This is the method I've been using for months. Months and months now. Uh, fences are just super annoying because the bandits come and break them, you have to repair them. And when the bandits break them, the deer get in and eat your crops. But you might as well have a system that's just built to kill the deer. I mean, I, basically, I'm just, you know, getting a ton of food. Uh, it's a whole ecosystem. And this is looking really nice, though. Hmm. Definitely enjoying this a lot more. All right. Let's get things in position. Gonna get rid of this road. I'm gonna pause the game real quick. I'm going to build a vault right here. All right. And in the design, we have one, two, one, two um, road system right here. So we know there's a road right here. And we know that the trade post goes pretty much right here has a two tile gap in between it and the walls and then we have another sawmill we might as well just get it up and we'll just put a couple people in it all oh, the sawmill negatively impacts that one house right there okay i'm gonna switch something around the design real quick we're gonna put the sawmills down here i didn't realize it did that and i'm gonna put the wagon i have two wagons i'm gonna put those right there instead I'm just gonna switch this up and then I'll move the foundry over to where the wagons are. It's a very easy, easy fix. Certain things you just don't really realize until you build them. But that was, that's such an easy fix and they're still right there. So yeah, I'll put the two wagons here. I'll put the foundry um, right here. Trade post there. Wagon, wagon. And then we have no negative impact. Let's see if the uh, firewood splitters are going to be an issue. Nope, firewood splitters will not be an issue. They're right here in the on the design of their sides. Okay, cool. Yeah, we shouldn't have any buildings that negatively impact our ability. We do, however, have population. All right, we'll just we'll leave our population at 75. How many free floating people do we have around? All right, we need we need more laborers. We uh got quite the industry going right now. Oh boy, we are really clear cutting this forest too. We have a well in the design right here road right there. I like to place as many wells as I possibly can in the beginning. As you can see, they hit these well down here hits these two houses, and it hits the temporary house over here. That's fantastic. Um, so we're gonna place that. The reason I put the uh, trading post right there in this corner is because it's right within the range of the barracks. If anybody comes in, we're gonna put two people in this barracks. Oh, we got, we got a grizzly. Whoa. Brought me to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but you can see why you want to keep a small pop, get the full 
get the full base outlined first, and then you're you're on easy street. We're gonna do we're gonna do the full two layers of walls so that we have places to put towers. Um, we'll do the third layer of walls later. Or who knows? We'll see how much wood we have, right? There we go. Now we're doing it. Like I said, what's great is that these hunters will kill anything. So you can like, you can put them right here, and you can have their their spawns further out, and they'll still kill everything that's close to them. So pretty much perfect. And weed levels are going down. We still got a lot of weeds. I'm gonna um, just gonna go full bore on getting rid of the weeds, get so we can start doing real rotations. Because we're gonna need the food. All right, we got pelts. I guess I'm gonna start. Uh, yeah, there's. See, this is the slippery slope. Is there's a lot of things that you need in this game. I need I need a cobbler shop like right now. I, I could have built it earlier and been selling shoes, which probably would have been a good idea. But I just I'm trying trying really hard not to uh, put resources into things right now. Um, but we're gonna boot these crop fields down to six workers because we don't need the full seven. So boot that down to six. Just tr try to get as many people as we can, and we're gonna build more houses. Um, we need. A lot more people. There we go. That should be enough houses. I'll put us a little over a hundred, but I think we can we can take anything that they sent us. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a pretty cool base. <laughs> I wasn't sure how it was gonna look. This is pretty dope. We're gonna have another bear other sign, and we're gonna have the town center down here. And we're just going to line the top of towers, like, and I'm going to have towers in between. Is this going to be a pretty defensible base? It's it's a lot. I th it looks big, but it's, it really isn't that big. All right, 13 gold a pelt. Usually I buy pelts, but right now that's my economy. I have a pelt-based economy. Um, so we got lots of money. I'm just trying to keep, keep lots of money in my back pocket. We need a hundred and... 50 people, I think, for the uh, the next upgrade. The town center. Let's get the town center located correctly. Let's let's get that done. All right, I'm gonna look at the design. Oh boy! Right. All right. Let's put the gate down. I know the gate goes here, and then I know it goes three tiles to the right. So this is the easy part. One, two, three, and then it hooks all the way down. That's easy. And then I know it goes. Four tiles to the left. One, two, three, four. Hitting the corner of the knight's soil dude above him. And goes all the way down. Like so. Um, let's make sure this bottom part's right, though. That'll allow us to move the town hall into position right here. So this is all looking good. Yeah, sorry. I made, like, one little mistake and I had to go back and redo it. But I, I showed you the correct way to do it. Got predators attacking. Got a freaking bear. Alright. This is the good thing about having multiple hunters. Alright, the bears usually run off once you start shooting them. And we just got a big influx of people. And we need more farmers. So I'm gonna start actually... So we're gonna set up for actual farming now. Turnips, clovers, peas this is the staple of any build. Very, very good. Gives you a lot of good food. I'll have to wait for the crop to be done. Yeah, this is the hardest part: is getting the uh, the layout of the walls right. After that, it's really easy to. You don't even need to count. You just need to follow a design and make sure that there's one tile gap. That is, I made it easy. There's just a one tile gap between everything. So as long as you keep a one tile consistency, you don't need to count anything out. You just follow the design. It's really easy. Built to layer it once. But you gotta get the correct design down first, so. And they're basically just, it's gonna just take a bit to construct everything. You need to gather as much wood as possible. 
I'm just gonna keep telling him to cut down wood. We have enough uh, firewood, thankfully, to get us through this winter. I have to build a graveyard. I have not built a graveyard for my people yet. Pretty terrible. Um, I'm gonna put the graveyard a little bit out in the middle of nowhere here. I think that'll be good. You can wait till you get a bit of wood before you do everything that I do. I was just, I just wanted to get the guide out there for how I count and place everything. Got deer inside the, the base now. Little zoo over here. Why did my desirability go down? All right, we got our next crop up. We're gonna do the patented. We're just gonna start clearing the land. Um, the fertility is really high. I don't really think I need the clovers. I think I just need to clear it. So we're just gonna do this instead. Traveling merchant. Got nothing for me. We're gonna buy a few herbs from him. We're gonna buy two. We're gonna buy one crossbow. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing to have. Well, a bit of predators attacking us lately. This is odd. Okay. Bear will run off once it gets shot. Yeah, but it does. We're gonna place the house here. And then I'm gonna get the second well up. So there's a... Right here. Second well. There'll be more wells in the design, but they're thirsty. Ooh, another traveling merchant. Guess we can start selling boards. And wood. I'm gonna buy the stone. We're gonna need it. We're getting there. Mainly we just need people out cutting. I think probably my work camps are... Alright. I'm bringing this guy here. Putting mature free only on. And I'm bringing... I'm gonna have him keep cutting out here. But this... We need to start bringing in a lot of wood. So let's use our, our tree farm for what it was intended for. Alright. So these corners should line up. And they do. Alright, so we know that this design is pretty much correct all the way up to this point. Also know eventually we're going to have a bakery here, tile between, and another school. The tile between, and then another market. So that tells me that this lines up. Yep, it does. All right, so from so let's do this this part now. I know we're negative wood, but I just want to I just want to get the design done. I'm rushing ahead. You can definitely wait till you have enough wood. So it's four over, two, three, four. Then it's three over. Then it's three over. Then it's another three over. Then it's nine twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine like that and then this goes down three this goes down three this goes down three and then this goes down six one two three four five connection so this should yeah it looks like i um need to tear this down and this needs to be bumped out one that's what's going on here we're just gonna tear this whole dang thing out So we know that that's six, and then this is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you get this right, it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> you can screw up all other all other areas of the design. It's not that hard to take things out and reapply them. This is a pretty small base. It really is. Five, six. Ah, okay. There we go. I just had overlap there. We're good. We're good. Took that out. So six here, six here, everything there. Okay. 
that's where these two line up. And then that would mean that these are the two exit points. There's two tiles at the end here. You gotta take those two tiles here into consideration. Gate goes right here, and then I have four tiles in between for the barracks. So we're good. And we, oh my god. Sorry about that. What an adventure. I'm not gonna fully build this yet. I just wanna get it placed down. I'm gonna disable construction just so I can build around it. Yeah, let's let's get the roads in here. There we go. Then we can connect it there. And I can get rid of this. I can just make one nice clean road into it. Gosh darn it. Alright, there we go. Now we have the road around it. We can do our thing. There we go. Now we have the whole the whole base mapped out. Finally, right? And yeah, just you know, just count count the blocks like I did. Pretty straightforward. Just um, very annoying when you make a small mistake. We have barely any of our crops being eaten, so our hunters are doing a great job. Not sure what happened here, but desirability went down. Let's start uh, making this place a little pretty. We definitely can afford it, so we'll just do it. All right, finally. Yep, just need to focus all of our men into... Oh man, we got way too many builders. I'm gonna cut this down to five. Uh, we just need more people out there cutting wood. All right, I'm bringing these guys in too to cut this wood. Church trees only. We just need every. We just need as much wood as we possibly can to get this build going. All right, and. Right there. The first the first indent lines up with this first indent. I feel pretty good. We got we got the design right this time. All right, so the the deer spawn here is definitely going to be pushed more towards the outside. So I'm going to put this inner cabin outside. Looks like we're finally getting more wood. I'm actually going to pull this guy off and have him go out into the woods. Alright, year t look how much we've gotten done on just year 10. Right, 100 pop and pushing the limits. Gardens up over here. Definitely need to start moving towards tier 3. Uh, desirability ratings for when we upgrade eventually. It's a slow process, you can start now though. And put Hunter outside. Mainly just, yeah, need a bunch of wood. Let's turn this off for now until we get a bakery going. Got the second school up. Make sure my people can read. 43% education rating? Eek. Surprised we've gotten away with not having a hospital for this long? I'm gonna keep pushing it, to be honest. I don't want to spend the money. And our hunter wall is... Oh my god, that's a lot of deer. <laughs> that is a lot of deer. And the boars are coming, too. That's cool. It attracts boars. I didn't know that. That's a new one for me. But yeah, the hunters are just going to work overtime killing all these deer. Who the hell is this? Hunter. Wearing black. That's cool. Yeah. Oof. Slaughter fest. Village is being raided. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see how this village fares now. 14 raiders. Okay. We're going to pull our hunters again. Looks like they're not working. Can't pull them. 14 hunters is not a lot. Medium diff That's what I was trying to tell people. The harder difficulty is four times harder than the middle difficulty. 14 raiders for 100 people is nothing. Um, 
and these are just pissant raiders. <laughs> this is like cake mode. My hunter, oop, hunter's laying down the law. All right. And so this is why I wanted a barracks though, is you have the ability to send your troops out. Heck yeah, I'll take six people. Oh, they broke in. And they're gonna try to rob me now. Oof, they stole some money. Oh, guys. You guys, why'd you use bows? Alright, well, they might get away with some money. <laughs> of course, the dude who stole the money. Alright, but once we have our, our double layers up, um, and we have towers peppered throughout this whole design, we'll be fine. Yeah, that was a pretty weak raid. Alright, we got wood, more wood, so we're gonna boot up our builders. Fire the sick people, let them rest. Village was raided, we killed 11 out of 14. And they stole 248 gold for me. That kind of hurts my feelings. We got a trader. Um, we're gonna buy herbs from the trader. We, um, like I said, feel f I would definitely f say feel free to roll a map that has more resources than this one. I like this map, though. And I'm used to not having stuff. I'm used to buying everything. Oh, wow. I'll buy some healing herbs. I'm surprised we don't have excess shoes since we have cobbler. I'm gonna have two cobblers. Predators are attacking. We should have an enormous amount of pelts. Uh, yeah, it was a boar, so that's a lot of pelts right there. This is attracting an same amount of uh, pelts. The plains has a lot more hunting opportunities, so a lot easier to get pelts and stuff like that. All right, 312. Pause the game, and getting the design completed is very important. I still have to build out three more layers of wall, but uh, it will be a lot easier. And it doesn't really matter what if I mess it up, to be honest, because it's a lot more forgiving. The initial design isn't as forgiving because everything lines up with inside of it. Oh man, we got baskets we can sell. Nice. Baskets are like my new favorite thing for, for selling early game. Man, look how much tallow we have. I just realized I probably need another smoker. No, we have barely any spoilage for protein. I don't even think I turned off, uh, I did, okay, cool, yeah, make sure you turn off your meat, so they don't store meat in there. Holy cow. Look at it, look at it go. Boom, look at that, everything lines up. Yes. Everything lines up. It's so beautiful when everything lines up like that. That's it, man. Like, there's just a couple more roads to the place, and the whole core insides are done. Look at the beauty. We did it. We have completed the outer shell of the base. So that is a huge achievement. Oh man, what a what a journey! We got boars. Yeah, this is great. The boars are getting at, are coming in for the crops, and then we're getting we've made a figured out how to farm the boars. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this instructional video. I have a lot more let's plays planned for this. I'm gonna go into the whole design is finished, and that's multiple sets of walls, um, stone walls, all that, and the whole design. I'm gonna show you how to get 400 pop. Now remember, like I said, you're going to have to build a shanty town to hit 400 pop to hit tier 4. But once you hit tier 4, you can just destroy that shanty town, upgrade everything to manors inside here, and you should get a pretty decent frame rate on this build. Um yeah, I'm doing I'm doing pretty good right now, but this uh this should run pretty decently. But it's a lot of stuff consolidated into a circle. Um Yeah, that no, was pretty cool. I think it's going to be great when I have the towers up and everything. Well, thank you so much for watching.